What's up, guys? Chemist here from Meanwhile in the Man Cave. We take a look at all things pop culture, games, toys, or anything we think is cool. And today, we are taking a look at the gallery diorama PVC statue of Dr. Doom. Victor Von Doom was part of a tribe of Latvian Romani people under the rule of a nobleman known only as the Baron. His mom, unknown to Doom, was a sorceress and was killed at the hands of the demon Mephisto when Doom was just a child. Not long after her death, the Baron's wife became ill and the Baron sent for Doom's father, who was the tribe's medicine man. Despite Doom's father's best efforts, the uh, Baron's wife ended up succumbing to her illness and died. Blaming Doom's father for his wife's death, the Baron ordered Doom's father to be killed. Doom's father takes Victor on the run and into the mountains and ends up dying of exposure trying to protect Victor from the cold. Victor is found and rescued and after recovering from his injuries, uh, he ends up returning to his home at the tribe's camp and discovers his mom's occult equipment and her magical past. After which he swears revenge on the Baron. Victor's brilliant mind allowed him to develop technology that combined both science and magic. This obsession would lead him down a path that would eventually bring him into conflict with the Fantastic Four and much of the Marvel Universe. Taking a quick look at the box, not much to see on these uh, gallery diorama boxes. Preview of the statue. A little side look at the statue and a description of the character itself on the back along with some credits for the sculpt and design. So, let's stop wasting time on this box and bust Dr. Doom out. And here he is out of the package, the evil Victor Von Doom. It's a pretty cool looking statue. Him standing atop some sort of dragon skulls or something here. Interesting choice. They look pretty cool. One thing that would have been nice with the statue if they had to put um, LEDs in these, these, this energy that's coming out of his hands. That could have been a nice feature. Probably wouldn't have added too much cost to the figure itself with the low cost of LEDs now. But still, even without that, it's pretty cool. Um, the cape, if you follow it down here, it's not just a hard plastic, it's actually Got some flexibility to it. It's kind of a cool thing for the statue to me. Let's get this thing spinning here on the turntable. Overall, I gotta say, I uh, like the detail on the statue, um, especially considering the price point. The shading and everything's pretty nice on it without breaking the bank here. And if you're a fan of Dr. Doom and the Fantastic Four, I gotta say this is uh, worth the price of admission. So I wanna thank you guys all for tuning in. Uh, if you can, please give us a like and subscribe. It does help others find our videos. And come back every Tuesday at 9 a.m. for a brand new episode of Meanwhile the Man Cave. I'll talk to you guys later.